Hi, guys. How are you doing this evening? Hello. All right, all good? Everything fine? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. What about you? I'm doing well. Can't complain. <laughs> well, it's good to see you again. Eduardo, again, you don't have your name. <laughs> Let me rename you. What's your last name, Eduardo? I had to memorize it. Okay, but I, I, I don't find where, where to write it down. Here in okay. the thing. I think I will change your name every single class. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's going to be my duty. You're going to be paid for that. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> okay, yeah. well, I see the majority. I hadn't seen um, yet yeah, yesterday, and I think Thursday, I hadn't seen uh, Noé nor Eduardo. You were absent for two days, I believe. I realize, but it's good to have you back. Okay, let's begin. Thank you. Thank you. We were studying relative clauses and specifically the one to talk about time, right? So let's see. Here's what we're going to do. Did we finish this exercise, guys? I can't remember. New Year's Day is that day when I think we didn't do exercise. It's a month when did we did we did we people have parties and friends? No, right? No. Okay, let's do number one. So that would be Josue. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, New Year. New Year's Day is a day when. I don't know, maybe people have a part time with the family and friends. People have people. Parties. parties. Parties, parties. Uh, yeah, parties. Parties. parties, okay. Very good. Number two, Carla Chang. Okay, April Fool's. Day is a day when um, people sometimes play tricks on friends. Yep. Have you ever fallen for one of those pranks or tricks, guys? Sometimes, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, three, Paul. Paul, remember, right? Get the microphone closed like this. Speak loud. Oh, I don't hear you, Paul. Alexandra, go ahead. I don't see you. Sorry, I'm not in the mood of camera. I feel a little sick. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, number three. May and June are the months when... Could you please show me the options? Mm. When people... Mm. Mm. I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe when people... Mm. In many countries, on our workers? I'm not sure. We know. The next one. Don't Sorry? Many young adults choose to get married. Maybe, Maybe. right? Could be. Labor February. I, don't, I think this is Brazilian celebrate carnival. I think it, no, it's not. It's not. No, never mind. I know April when they celebrate it. Okay, we, so. We could know that when the people choose to get married. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, in the US, for example, I think it's spring. So they usually prefer getting married in spring. 
No, we're not supposed to know that, but you know, we were guessing. <laughs> we're guessing and learning something because about the culture. In El Salvador, we, we rather prefer to choose December, I guess. Uh, we prefer getting married, or we rather get married rather. Okay. in December Maybe because of the money, right? December. And because it's colder. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I think it's the money. <laughs> I suspect yeah. that. Okay, four, Fatima. Valentine's Day is a day when people express their love to someone. Okay. Express their love to someone. Number five, Fernando. Uh, Labor Day is a day when people in many countries honor workers. Great. And finally, Patihu Carla Molina. February is the month when Brazilians celebrate Carnival. Oh, it's in February? Really? You didn't know that. I don't know. It makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, and you're gonna say fe, fe brua, bruari, okay? February. 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 Like this, no, I think there's a sound you're not making, guys. So it's fe brua, re, February. 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 Yeah, same thing happens in January. January. February. February. January. 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 Now that sounds better. <laughs> it sounds so much better. Okay, uh, let's mute the microphone, please. So, I, I believe last module, the majority of, new, of you are new, so we can play that game again in a different way. Okay, but um, I want you to use relative clauses and not only when, okay? Because when is when we're talking about dates. So we're saying, for example, February. Hey, help me fill, complete the question, please. February is, what is February, Josue? It's a month. Okay, it's a okay, month. February. When? February. What are we doing in El Salvador, guys? February is Valentine's. Day. When people celebrate Valentine's when people Day. Celebrate when people celebrate Valentine's Day. Valentine. Okay, very good. Valentine's Day. All right, now we're using when, but what if we want to talk about an object? For example, I say a laptop. A laptop? What is a laptop? A computer. It's a computer, laptop, I think. It's a thing. Um, it's an object. Mm -hmm. So what relative clause am I going to use? When? Not when, because it's not time, right? Hold on. Relative clauses, mm -hmm. guys, are the same as WH questions, right? So we have what, we have when, what else? Which. What? Which. 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 Okay. Who? Who? Why? Why? Very good. What else? Um... How? Where? Where? How? We haven't said that one. And how? How? Yeah, also whose for possessive. Whom? And right. whom? Whom. Yeah, that. All of these are relative clauses. We are focusing on when, but we have more, okay? So a laptop is an object. Which one can I use, guys? Uh, that we use to do... Um, homework uh -huh. to, to, to do homework or, or jobs or to do homework home, home office what, study what do you use to study for sure no, you know why guys pay attention yeah. I cannot use what it's that sorry I wrote it <laughs> it's that we cannot use what because what is lo que okay what we say lo que in Spanish for example, that is not, that is not what I said, okay? Eso no es lo que, 
Okay, so what means lo que in this context? So we cannot use it here. I know I wrote it, sorry. Okay, this is another relative clause and so on. Let me see if we can study some more. Otherwise, I will teach you those and we're gonna practice them, okay? Carnival time, yeah, no, we're gonna do it. Right, another example, let's talk about a person. So, for example, the president, okay, the president, is mm -hmm. what is the president, guys? But we who? need to say something is uh oh. Who, oh. is who is a person is who is a person look we're saying always we're saying right it's a mind is an object in this case is a person don't forget to say that and then what uh -huh. plus can I use is a person okay who governed a country? Uh, who governs? A country. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, now we need another example with um, where. Okay, tell me a place, Fernando. Uh, Barcelona. Barcelona. Everyone can help me. Barcelona. It's a city. It's, it's a, a city. city. Mm -hmm. What relative cause? Uh. Where? Where? Because it's a place, right? The worst. Soccer. <laughs> the people Team. like soccer. <laughs> the worst. It's a city world. Fight right now. Play the worst. <laughs> Where people soccer love team. Soccer. <laughs> okay, that works. So, is this clear? Yes. Yes. I would like okay. you to use all of yes. them. Okay, but you need to specify before you use it because you're saying two ideas, right? Um. Let's practice, because I see you guys are tired. Fernando, so you look so exhausted. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Today is really, is really long. Today was long? It was a long day? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. this day for, for us with Fernando, because we work in the same company, it's really exhausting. It's like the planning day, right, Fernando? Mm. Yes, I have a lot of work today. Yeah, today. I have a, a bad face right now. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid the camera. <laughs> ah, Alexandra, that's why. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry, guys. No, but you know, as long as you're in class, I'm happy. So yeah, you can be tired. It's okay. I understand. So I'm going to show you a video. Look, relative causes. It's very easy to understand. I want you to use all of them, not only when. Okay, that's why I'm teaching you this. Let's talk about relative clauses. Relative clauses can also be called adjective clauses. Relative clauses are used to give additional information. They function like an adjective. The formula is relative pronoun plus subject plus verb, or relative pronoun as a subject plus the verb. Let's look at this example. Tom is talking to a girl. Do you know the girl? Instead of repeating a girl and the girl twice, instead we can say, do you know the girl who is talking to Tom? Who is a relative pronoun. Who is talking to Tom is a relative clause. Here are the relative pronouns. The relative pronouns who or whom is used to describe people. Where is used to describe places. When is used for times, that and which are used for things, and whose is used to show possession. Let's talk more about whose. We use the relative pronoun whose to show possession. For example, his book. The author whose book I just read is going to be in my town. His ears, the boy 
whose ears are big, is in my class. Her cat, the woman whose cat bit me, lives around the corner. We can use the relative pronoun whose to replace the possessive pronouns his and her. Sometimes we use different relative pronouns whether we're referring to the subject or the object. For example, New York is the city that never sleeps. New York, where I went last year, is a great place. Notice we use that if the relative clause doesn't have a subject. We use where if the relative clause has a subject. In this case, the relative clause contains the subject I. Here's another example. His birthday, which is in June, is his favorite day of the year. Here we use the relative pronoun which because the relative clause does not contain a separate subject. His birthday, when he turns 12 years old, is on a Monday this year. Here we use when because the relative clause contains the subject he. Is it better now? Is it more clear? Is it clear? Yeah, it is clear. Yeah. Yes. You think you can practice now or would you like to do some exercises first? It's up to you. Well, both, both options. <laughs> both options. We have to practice. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's better for us to practice first. So uh, give me one second. Let's practice and then we're going to practice speaking using this, all right? So that I make sure you're understanding everything, right? Let me see, this is relative, it's right here. Anybody can participate, okay? I'll just show the slide and you tell me. One second. So these are the relative pronouns, right? We're gonna use either of them and read the sentence. Go ahead, Carla Molina. You're on mute. Uh, the woman who works in a reception is French. Reception is French. Reception. Okay. Don't roll your Tongue. Anybody can give me the answer, so be prompt, be ready. Anybody? The house that is next to mine is for sale. The, whole, the house. Which. You can say which or that, it's okay. Next. Okay. That's, that That's the hotel where we where? spend our honeymoon. Yeah where we spent our honeymoon. Very good. The reason why. The reason why we stopped. The reason why we stopped, reason why we stopped going to that restaurant was because the service was so long. Good. So it's the reason why. Teacher. Who was Who? mentioned? Who was mentioned? The is over there. Great. The town, the town where, where they, they, they live, live where is by the sea. By the sea. Good job. I you understand what you mean? what you mean? Good. What do you mean? <laughs> Is that what you decide not to go okay. there anymore? What's the relative clause, guys? Mm. Why? Uh, why? 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 Do why? Why do you decide? Why? Is that why? Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. mm. Jenny. Um, who, who who's whose father, father. Who's yeah. father. Who's is studying law. 
whose, whose mm. mm. yeah, Jenny, whose father, it's possessive, right? Mm -hmm. Can you see the man? Can you see the man who is, who who is, who is standing at the bus stop? stop? Okay, but let's connect those letter S, okay? So the man who is standing, who is standing mm. at the bus stop. Say, who is standing at the bus stop? Go ahead. Who is standing who at the bus stop? Yeah, that was better. All right. Uh, I use whom? Standing bus stop. No, right. Bus standing. The, can you see the man whom is standing? Um, no, the thing whom? is that whom is hmm. when it's an object, so it receives an action. The person whom I was speaking, it's like, I was speaking with that person, right? So the person whom I was speaking, in that case, you would use it. So who is standing? Okay. One more. The restaurant where we had lunch yesterday where? was in the papers this morning. Where so we where? Lunch. Okay, we're gonna play a game, guys. Um, re if you can, well, the majority, Except Alexandra, because she's saying she doesn't feel well. But if you want to, you can turn it on. I, I would require you to turn your cameras on because we're going to practice in pairs. And you know, right, talking to that black screen is not comfortable. So I would need you to turn it on for the practice. Alexandra, if you can't, definitely do it. It's all right. right. So we're going to play a game. Okay, pay close attention. It's going to go like this. Right, one of you is going to be, I will send you two images. Pay attention guys, don't look at both of them, right? One of them will be student A and student B, okay? You're gonna work in pairs. So say for example, oh Carla, you're gonna be student A, I will be student B. So open your image, not both, because the other one is secret, all right? You shouldn't see it, you're supposed to get something. So imagine, I'm student B, and let me see, somebody to help me demonstrate this. Josue, you want to help me? Okay. All right, imagine that Josue and I are practicing. So Josue, you're student A, I'm student B, and this is what I have on my image. Josue cannot see it, but I have some random words. For example, I have the word pop, I have the word, ouch. <laughs> I'm muting your microphone. All right, I have the word cup. I have the word uh, um, Australia. Okay, I have the word um, January. But Josue cannot see this. So Josue has to give me the answer and say cup. I'm going to give him a hint or a clue, right, using a relative clause so that Josue can say cup. For example, I would say, Josue, listen, it's an object which you use to drink coffee. What is it? You're on mute. It's a... Uh, is that a cup? Okay, great. Yes. Yeah, okay. That's the one. <laughs> okay, supposedly you okay. cannot see answers, right? <laughs> He's okay, like, okay. No. Yes. <laughs> okay, another one I can say since this is a month, right? Okay, so Josue, it's a month. We're going to take turns. So now Josue needs to tell me one, and I will guess it. Then I say it, he guesses it, and so on. We're going to take turns, okay? But Josue, it, this is on yours. You need to make me say January. So give me a hint. You're on mute. Okay, sorry. Okay, somebody help me please. What hint would you give me to make me say January? Eduardo? 
I'm trying to understand. <laughs> you have to Sorry. give me a hint using a relative clause, and I have to give you this answer. So what sentence? I have a, I have one. January is a month oh, no, when. You cannot say January because that is a secret word. So I need to guess it. You have Sorry. to tell me something. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> it's, so it's a month <laughs> when you have a, a lot of liabilities. Where, when, right? Because it's time. It's a month when you have a oh, lot okay. of, a lot of liabilities. Yeah. Okay, I don't think I would say January if you tell me that, but okay, it's a good example. What is the meaning <laughs> of liabilities? Responsibilities, but yeah, they're like you have to pay, you have to pay a lot of things. Responsibilities, it's a synonym of it. All the time. Um, Guys, um, children go back to school in January, right? In January? Yes. Okay, so I would say, for you to guess, I would say it's a month when children they go back to school. What would you say? January, right? Yes. January. Yes. I would say yes. I got forward. it. You got it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Until now. <laughs> <laughs> it took a while. That it's okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna send the two images. Working pairs. Choose it. Don't look at both. Only the one that you are assigned. Okay. Let me. Okay. I will send it in a minute, so check what's up, okay? Accept the invitation, please. Oh, and if there are three participants in your room, two of you are going to be letter A, and one of you is going to be letter B, okay? So some of you are going to have to work together. Go ahead and accept the invitation, please. Hello. Hello, Alexandra. So, you will be student A or B? Uh, uh, I don't know what uh, we, we do. You, okay. You're not sure what we have to do. Yes. Okay. okay, first let's decide. Roberto, you're gonna be student B. Alexandra, you're gonna be student A. You look great, okay. Alexandra. No, I don't. Yeah. That look I look me. really you look like a homeless <laughs> girl. Come on, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I have a, a lot of how do you say dark Ojeras? circles. I have dark circles. Dark circles. <laughs> Yeah. The camera it doesn't look that bad, don't worry. Okay. okay. <laughs> your student A, Roberto, your student B. Okay. I will help you okay. but right now. Open it. Open student B, Roberto. On WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Only student B, Roberto. Got it? Got it. Okay, now Alexandra, give your hint and Roberto is gonna guess the word. Go ahead. Don't okay. look at student A, Roberto. Only B. <laughs> Go ahead. No, Roberto, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, Alexandra, go ahead. With letter A, right? Yes. The first word. Okay. What is your hint? Okay. Mm. Uh, the sky... This guy looks like looks like this when it's sunny. 
Yeah, you use when, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. When is sunny. This guy looks like this when it's sunny. Uh, Roberto. <laughs> what is the answer, Roberto? No, but it, you have to tell him it's a color because he's not going to guess otherwise. So it's the color of the sky. It's the color I, I of the sky. Use. It's a color. Uh -huh. It's the color of the sky it's when it's sunny. Okay, I'm going to repeat. Uh -huh. Sounds. Yeah, but it's, it's queen. the queen. <laughs> queen, okay, queen. Reptilian, for sure. Okay. <laughs> Reptilian. <laughs> Who's got an A? B. You and Eduardo and Fernando, your student B. Yes. The two of you. Okay, great. Um, we are the weak, weakness one. Okay, next clue. Is the is the person uh, who see you when you're sick. Ah, it's a person who uh, sees you with letter F. Sees you when you're sick. Uh, what did you say, Eduardo? The doctor. Yeah, is that right, Fatima? <laughs> yes. Okay, now Fernando and Eduardo, next word, give a clue for Fatima. Give her a hint. Yes. We're taking turns. He was a guy that all the girls loved in the 90s. He was a very handsome guy. <laughs> ah. John Travolta. <laughs> Cheyenne. <laughs> Cheyenne. <laughs> okay, this is for my mom. <laughs> that was your mom, right? My mom loves Cheyenne more than me. <laughs> yeah, you see? <laughs> Okay, no, she will so, not get it, so you probably have to talk about a movie, Eduardo. It's the actor yeah. who, it's the actor the who actor. played the role of in such movie. What you say? I can hear you, and I so see what you. What say? All right, uh, tell me, tell me again. Your items? My answer. My answer. I'm my items. Blue, bottom, winter, doctor. Yes. yes. Oh, no, don't give the answers. He's supposed to guess them. <laughs> we have problems with connection and the boss. I can hear him and, and he can hear you. He can see me. All right, mm -hmm. hold on. Maybe I will have you work with uh, Alexandra. Hold on. And Paul, you're going to work with Roberto. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Alexandra and Jacqueline, you're going to work together. <laughs> because okay. They, okay. They have an internet issue. Okay. So, Jacqueline, who, wh what student were you? Oh, never mind. You're A. Okay, and Alexandra B. Okay. So give him. So give the answer. Um, when people go to watch movies. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, cinema. Mm -hmm. Cinema. 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 Yay. Yay. <laughs> Yay. That is so far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the soul is a fool that does not a uh, very well taste. Maybe. 
Uh -huh. So it's a food that doesn't taste very well. Ah, okay. That don't taste and very well. Mm -hmm. Doesn't taste very well. Oh, there are too many options. Can you give more hints? Sorry? Can you give more hints? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. 20, 28. <clears throat> You're next, Noe. Ah, okay. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Oh, no, no, no. Number <laughs> say the word. You're supposed to guess the word. Ah, okay. So, for example, imagine I have a word right now, okay? It's the object which you use to call your friends. What is the word? <clears throat> Cell phone. Okay, very good. So mm -hmm. that's the game. Okay, you get ah, okay. it and the other person tells you the word. You don't say the mm -hmm. word. Okay. All right, try it this time. Say the word. Go ahead. Mm, okay. Um, me, me. Okay, go ahead. Okay. It's a language for With? people which people talk in Germany. Uh -huh. Who people speak in Germany. They speak in Germany. What's the answer, Noe? <clears throat> Germany, the country. No, but it's the language. It's the, the language. language. Huh? Uh, German. Yes, that's the answer, right, Carmen? Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the answer, very good. Yes, German. Mm -hmm. Okay, Noe? <clears throat> um, is the place where you see a big tower? <laughs> On the center of the city. Of oh, the center of the city. Uh, the government designed the city uh, for see the big tower. Mm. There is not, there are not uh, buildings on the Central Park. And, and, and it's a country? Whatever is, it's a country, it's a province, provincia, uh, or, or a state. Is the capital of, of the the tower is in the capital on the country. Uh -huh. And wherever you stay in the in the in the capital, you can oh. see the big tower. And sometimes the city is called the city light. Um, friends, Paris. Yes. yes. That's the answer. Yes. All right, very. Paris. So you got okay. it, continue. Okay. Um, next. Um, two, two. You got just three letters. Bev. <laughs> it's a drink. Uh. <laughs> it's a drink. Okay. Is the place when where you can left your car? Where you can leave parking. leave the car. I'll left this parking you forgot something, right? No, it's the past. It's in the past. Ah, okay. Leave. Okay. Okay. Okay, they're saying parking, is that the answer? Yes. Park. Parking or park? Oh, no, no. Yeah, okay. Uh, a little confused. Is the place where you can play with the kid? Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the one. Carnival time. Okay, one more. It's a season. Yes, salt. Okay. Mm. 
is a person who takes control in the house. <laughs> the wife. Uh -huh. <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is easy. This is easy. Said it right away. That's easy. <laughs> Your turn. Yes. Um, it's a form that the first. No, it's mm -hmm. um. A jacket. A jacket. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Let's see. Okay. Um, ah. We're gonna go back now. Okay. okay. Did you enjoy the game? Somewhat a lot. Yes. 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 yes, some of you had fun. It was funny. Yeah, some of you got frustrated. I understand, <laughs> but some of you had fun. That's good. <laughs> the important thing is, yeah, to have fun and to be able to use the topic we're learning through speaking. Okay, I told you from the very start that's my objective that you can study this and speak using it. Okay, now we're gonna do a listening exercise. We're very advanced with this already in section 3.6 we're gonna do this listening okay and we'll be answering uh what is a carnival <laughs> when does it last when is it and what is samba pay close attention please i need you to go to section 3.6 because the answers are very specific and if you don't say something in specific it's gonna take it as wrong so i wouldn't want you to be lost in a week when you have to finish the platform. Let's do it right now, okay? So I can give you the answers. Because we're very okay. confusing. Let's do it together, please. 3.6. And let's listen up. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow! Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Okay, so what is a carnival? It's a party. Right there. It's a party. Let's type that. 
How long does it it's last? It's a big celebration. We're saying it's a big celebration, it's a party. Let's see which one works, okay? And number two, how long does it last? Four days. Four days. Four, Four days. days. Does anybody have a different answer? Roberto, what do you have? Four, four whole days. Four whole days? Yes. Okay. Well, um, let's check four whole days and see if that works. Three, uh, when is it? In Brazil. February. Last February and early March. No, February. Uh, when? Late February. It's in February. March. February. 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 Oh, but guys, it says when. <laughs> when? Late in March? February yeah. or early in March. Early March. Early. I think it's this one. Look. Late February and early March. I think that's the answer. Okay. I'm going to check in a little bit. In four. Um, what is samba? A dance. A dance? It's a type of music. A type of music? No. Uh, I don't know. Music and dance? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I told you this exercise is the next. So I'm going to show you the answers because I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Here are the answers. So type them, please. So this is a one-time opportunity. <laughs> Number one is carnival. It is a party. Okay, it is a party. All right, it is a party, guys. Like this, it is a party. Period. It is a party. Period. All right. <laughs> Same for anything. It is a party. Period. Okay. Uh, two. Four whole days. Oh, what am I missing? Lowercase s, period. Four whole days. Uh -huh. This is, it mm. is on late February or early March. And it should be in, not on. Okay. Period. This is, it is, it's a dance. It's a... Dance, period. Is that the period of problem? Yep, everything is right. Ooh. Periods are important in this exercise, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you got the answers? No. Mm, okay. Uh, just a second. The, the number three? Three point six. I, the, have a picture I don't have the number three. Uh -huh. Okay, can you see them here? Ah, uh, you want to see it completely. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Here. There it is. I will send a picture to a group as well because believe me, everyone is be asking this question. I know. It happened to me already. What section is this again? 3.8, right? Yes. No, 3.6. 3 it is on late February. It is on. And early March. What is the, the wrong here? It, it, all of these are good options, but you need a period at the end. So you're putting period. Period, yeah. period, period, period. Maybe the capital letter. It's a uh -huh, and capital letter. Uh, mm -hmm. You have to use capital or lower. Sorry. I got it. Got it. And the next one, yeah. That is a contraction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's read this objective. Change topic. Jacqueline, read the objective, please. 
In this session, you will listen and practice a conversation about wedding custom. A verbal clause of time will be introduced. Introduced. Thank you. Okay, the conversation. Um, let me see how long it lasts. Hi, listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? Guys, can you say a dialogue? Because I can't. No, I can't. You can't see it either? No. Okay, I think I have a better picture, so I'm going to send you that through WhatsApp, okay? Uh, open it. And tomorrow we're going to practice this dialogue, okay? But we're going to leave it here tonight. Mm -hmm. I will get you a better dialogue. I know I can find it. Do you have any questions? Mm, no. No. Oh. Question. no, I'm good. No question. It's clear. No All right, awesome. Well, thank you very much for being in class, guys. If you can't, you know, right? Let me know, please, if there is any issue. Otherwise, I hope to see you, and I hope you have a beautiful night as well. Thank you, Josie. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night, guys.